Hello Walnut Grove directors. I am learning new things about this video board every week and hopefully we can be incorporating features as I learn them and put them into place um, week in week out and, and this week I've covered a lot of new stuff in my research so I wanted to pass that along and hopefully we can get this stuff going right away. Um, mainly I want to talk about keyers, what I've learned about the keyers. Um, First off, everything we're doing in this board is um, in the main ME. This is multi-effects engine. So this board only has one full ME. So everything we've been doing with presets, program, um, and the T-bar, we are always working in the main ME. That's what shows up on the screen. This board also has two kind of mini switchers within it. Um, a mini ME one and two um, so with those things you can build like picture-in-picture -picture stuff and make that one of your inputs onto the main switch so you can use them as a switcher within a switcher um, you can layer things on top of each other with keyers and then um, put all of that on mini ME and make that one of the sources you switch to on the main ME so this this is like mini video mixers inside the video mixer um, we haven't had a reason to use these yet, but it could be down the road, for instance, we decide to make the projector um, be sourced with a mini ME instead of just one input. That would let us um, switch into the mini ME, and then we could fade between inputs that go to the main projector screen, just like we're doing on the streamer and on our recordings and on the TVs outside. Um, so that's down the road. But for now, we're just working in the main ME, the main board. So keyers. Keyers are all about um, layering um, an image on top of other images. Um, and there's four different modes that a keyer can be in. A self key is a basic um, everything but black. So this is what we use for lyrics. The black will show the background layer through as transparent but everything that's not black will show up sitting on top of the background image. Um, auto select is like a fancy version of that um, where the keyer is also getting a separate layer telling it what is supposed to be clear and what is supposed to be not clear. Um, so that lets you have logos with some black in them show up on top. It also lets you have things that are semi-transparent, some things that are translucent that show up over the image. So I'll, I'll show that layer. I'll show that later as well. A chroma key is for um, making a certain color of the background transparent and keying only over a certain color. Um, so that's like blue screen and green screen images that you've you've seen that people use for movies all the time or. Um, every TV station is using that for um, their weather, for example. So that's not going to come up for us necessarily. DVE stands for Digital Video Effects, I think. Um, so this includes like a picture-in-picture -picture box effect. You can position an image, you can shrink it down, um, you can squash it horizontally or vertically, change its aspect ratio. Um, and this board can also do things where you are putting a digital effects engine on top of the self key. And I'll show that as well. Um, here are the four keys and here are how I'm using them. Key one is our basic normal key. If I select it, I don't even have to select it. But if I want to look at it, I can see I've set it up as an auto select. I've set it up for the iMac source four. Um, to be the thing that is keying. And when I put that on the screen, let's say I've got color bars now, lyrics from iMac just show up on top in the preview and the program window. Key two, I've built one of these things called a fly key where I've got a self keyer with um, a digital video effect on it and I've set that all up and this is what it does this is going to be our lyric key it is showing the lyrics squashed down a little and shrunken down a little and positioned 
So I've scaled it down, I've changed its aspect ratio a little bit, and I've positioned it down on the screen. So this should be great with our camera angles, that during worship we can have lyrics projecting, but always have different camera angles on the TVs behind it. So this is key to going in and out. The other thing that I've done in this is I've masked off the top corners so, um, so that if a child call happens during a song, it won't show up in this view, in this key. So that's a, a cool extra effect. Um, key three I've set up as a basic keyer, but it's masked a lot. So it's, everything's masked out of it except for the very top corner. So this is our child call key. If I go over here, trigger, um, trigger a child call message, you can see that it's happening on the iMac over there. You can see it in that preview. If I do the lyric key, key two, I don't see that child code in the lyric, which is good, that's how I wanted it to be. And if I hit key three, all I see is that. So I can put that child call code over any camera angle or the iMac itself. Or I don't have to do any keying if the iMac screen itself is up there because it's already in there. But that's pretty cool because I can have lyrics and I can have the child call code and this is how they come off the iMac but I'm seeing them like this because that tiny masked bit is full size in the top corner and key 2 has everything but the top layer um, shrunken down for lyrics at the same time so I can turn those both on and off separately oh and now that child call code has gone away and key 4 I've set up as just a digital video effect and I've set it up as a box effect. So I don't know if this will be useful for us at all, not in songs, but maybe for sermon notes. I don't know if it'll look too much like a newscaster and the preview over his head. Maybe we can position that in a different place. Um, another cool way to use this is um, if you use these key buttons, you are setting up a preview um, rather than going to it live. So I can set up background and key four, and then that shows up in the preview, but not live. So I can set up a camera angle so that Matthew's here and has his sermon notes next to him. And then I can bring that key and the background um, into program, and then go back to the other camera angle without the key in it after that. So um, I've made that list right here. Key one is a standard self key that's just going to show the iMac. Um, key two is for lyrics. Key three is for the child call. And key four is our box effect. Um, one other thing, key one, it's the iMac now. But down the road, I hope that we can change sources um, to have a lower third with someone's name in it. Um, right now, um, this is one of the stock images that Samuel found and put into this media effect. So this is input number five. So I can select input five as the key source for key one. And then when I hit key one, that comes across. And as you can see, this is one of those um, auto select keys I was telling you about where the half transparent part, the translucent part shows up nicely. Um, black outlines around the text show up just great because it's getting this alpha information. It's getting information telling it what's see-through and what's not see-through. And I can layer that in and out. I can change the keyer input back over to the iMac and then bring up the same key one and it's just giving me lyrics again. So I know that was a long video, but it's covering these four different keyers, um, how I'm using them right now, um, and we'll give that a shot and see how we can incorporate these things um, to our Sunday services.